beach cleaning robot dogs. Yeah, you heard that right, robot dogs. But before we get to that, Let's talk about something we all love to hate, beach pollution. Picture this, you're strolling along a beautiful coastline, ready to soak up some sun and maybe build a sandcastle or two. But instead of pristine sand between your toes, you're dodging plastic bottles, cigarette butts, and who knows what else. It's like playing a twisted version of the floor is lava, except the lava is garbage, and you're not having any fun. Now, beach pollution isn't just about ruining your Instagram-worthy vacation pics. It's way worse than that. We're talking about a full-on environmental nightmare that's messing with our oceans big time. It's like Mother Nature went on a bender and left her trash everywhere. Scientists reckon that every year, somewhere between 4 to 12 million metric tons of plastic end up in our oceans. That's like dumping a garbage truck full of plastic into the sea every minute. And if you think that's bad, wait till you hear what it's doing to the wildlife. Imagine you're a sea turtle, just minding your own business, swimming along, looking for a snack. Suddenly, you spot what looks like a juicy jellyfish. You go in for a bite and bam, it's a plastic bag. Now you're choking on trash and your day is ruined. This isn't just a one-off scenario. More than half of all sea turtles have basically become unwilling participants in the world's worst all-you-can-eat buffet, gobbling up plastic like it's going out of style. And it's not just turtles getting the short end of the stick. Almost every seabird out there has had a taste of our plastic problem. It's like they're all part of some twisted taste testing experiment. Except instead of new flavors of bird seed, it's various types of human garbage. Beach pollution isn't just about the stuff you can see. We've also got invisible nasties lurking in the water. We're talking sewage, pesticides, and excess nutrients from fertilizers. Which might sound good, but trust me, it's not. It's like the ocean has become a giant soup of everything we don't want, with a sprinkle of plastic confetti on top. And let's not forget about the star of our trashy show, cigarette butts. These little devils are everywhere, and they're not just unsightly, they're downright dangerous. Here's a fun fact that'll make you want to never touch sand again. Out of the roughly six trillion cigarettes smoked worldwide each year, over four trillion of the butts end up as litter. That's trillion with a T, folks. And each one of these tiny toxic time bombs can leach over 700 toxic chemicals into the environment. It's like every smoker is carrying around a miniature chemical warfare kit and dropping it wherever they please. So, what's a planet to do? Enter our hero, Vero, the beach cleaning robot dog. Now, I know what you're thinking. A robot dog? To clean beaches? What's next? Seagulls with tiny brooms? But hear me out, because this is where things get interesting and a little weird. Vero, which stands for Vacuum Cleaner Equipped Robot, because apparently scientists are great at building robots but terrible at naming them is the brainchild of some clever folks at the Italian Institute of Technology. These geniuses looked at the beach pollution problem and thought, you know what we need? A $50,000 robot dog with a vacuum cleaner strapped to its back. Picture this, a sleek futuristic quadruped robot prancing along the beach like a mechanical show pony, but instead of winning ribbons, it's sucking up cigarette butts like they're going out of style. It's got depth cameras for eyes and a neural network for a brain, which is a fancy way of saying it's smarter than your average Roomba. But the real kicker, this bad boy has vacuum nozzles on its feet. That's right, every step this robopup takes is a step towards a cleaner beach. Now, you might be wondering, how does this glorified robo vacuum know where to go? Well, that's where the human comes in. Some poor soul has to point Vero in the right direction and say, go fetch the trash. After that, Vero takes over, plotting its course like a tiny, determined Roomba on a mission. As it trots along, sucking up butts, cigarette butts that is, it's constantly scanning its surroundings. See a cigarette butt? Vacuum it up. Sand in the way? No problem, just keep on walking. It's like watching a very expensive, very nerdy game of Pac-Man, except instead of dots, it's collecting trash. This mechanical mutt is good, like really good. In tests, Vero managed to snag nearly 90% of the cigarette butts in its path. That's better than most humans with those grabby stick things they hand out at beach cleanups. And unlike humans, Vero doesn't get tired, doesn't complain about the heat, and doesn't stop for an ice cream break every 15 minutes. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds great, but surely there's a catch, right? Well, you're not wrong. For starters, Vero isn't exactly Usain Bolt. It's a bit slower than your standard robot dog, probably because it's lugging around a vacuum cleaner on its back. It's like watching a chihuahua try to run with a backpack full of bricks. Then. There's the sand problem. Turns out, when you put vacuum nozzles on a robot's feet and set it loose on a beach, it tends to suck up a lot of sand along with the trash. This thing costs more than some people's cars. 
It's not exactly the kind of thing you can mass produce and set loose on every beach in the world. At least, not until we figure out how to make robot dogs as cheap as real dogs. And let's be honest, some people spend that much on their purebred pooches anyway. Vero isn't just about cleaning beaches. These scientists have bigger dreams. They're talking about using this technology for all sorts of wild stuff. Imagine a robot dog spraying weeds in a field or inspecting buildings for cracks. It's like they're trying to create the world's most overqualified handyman. Picture this. You call a plumber, and instead of a guy with his pants hanging too low, a robot dog shows up at your door with a wrench duct taped to its head. Good afternoon, I'm here to fix your sink and maybe vacuum your carpet while I'm at it. The possibilities are endless and frankly, a little terrifying. Are we looking at a future where robot dogs do all our dirty work? Let's get back to our beach cleaning hero for a moment. Despite its quirks and limitations, Vero represents something pretty cool. It's a sign that we're starting to take this whole saving the planet thing seriously. Sure, it might seem a bit silly to send a robot dog to do a job that humans could do, and probably should do, let's be honest. But it's a start. Of course, the ideal solution would be for people to stop littering in the first place. But let's face it, asking people to be responsible is like asking cats to stop knocking things off tables. It's just not in their nature. So until we evolve into a species that actually cares about where our trash ends up, we might need to rely on our robot friends to clean up after us. So next time you're at the beach and you see what looks like a mobile vacuum cleaner with legs, don't be alarmed. It's just Vero doing its part to keep our beaches clean. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll all have our own little Vero following us around and cleaning up our messes. It'll be like having a really expensive, really high-tech pooper scooper.